When people think of Alzheimer's, they think of it as being a disease for older people. But my wife Patty, she was only 62 years old when she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. But in reality, that disease was starting 10 to 20 years before in Patty's brain. This disease doesn't just affect one person in the family. It affects the entire family and the friends of that family and the relatives. It's surprising at how, how much people don't know about this disease. This disease does not discriminate. It is after all of us. My mom, Helen Simpson, was a very happy person, and she and my dad had a beautiful marriage. One day out of the blue, my father died of a heart attack. And um, at the funeral service, she looked at my mother-in-law and said, I know I should know you. We were sitting at the table, at the kitchen table, and he looked at me and he said, you know, I think it's time. I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, and I said, what do you mean it's time? And he said, I think it's time for me to go into one of those places. Definitely the hardest decision I ever had to make in dealing with Alzheimer's was placing Patty in a community. On one hand, you're thinking, gee, I want to give her the best care possible. And on the other hand, you're thinking about, well, what are my responsibilities? Shouldn't I be doing more for her? We found out about UCI Mind, about the research and the clinic, right around that same time that we were noticing changes with my mom. Through the process of my mom being evaluated and the family consultation with Dr. Dick and the staff, it helped us to understand the disease specifically, how this disease and diagnosis related to my mom. My experience at UCI Mind, I think, is composed of two things. One, the clinical practice was very, very important to us as we progressed through the disease. But through the clinical practice, I became aware of the research. We're one of 30 centers in the country that have this integrative approach to research and clinical services. It's clear that Alzheimer's disease is a very complex disorder. Uh, it affects people at different ages. It, w it progresses differently in individuals. Um, it affects people of different genders differently. And so I don't believe that one size will fit all. I think we're going to have to really learn as much about the disease process in different subgroups so that we could come up with the most effective therapies. When you get involved with an organization like UCI Mind, you realize that there's a lot of hope. With Patty's passing, uh, I decided to get even more involved with UCI Mind and, and volunteer for the testing programs as well. When Bud and I went to the clinic, I qualified for the UCI Mind study so that when I pass away, my brain will be used by UCI Mind to further Alzheimer's research. To find a cure for this disease or a prevention for this disease, it's going to require more than just federal and state funding. We have to get private sectors, we have to get individuals contributing to this cause. If you can help out in this pursuit to find a cure for Alzheimer's, whether it's volunteer or whether it's give money or whether it's speak on behalf of the efforts of UCI Mind, do it. Don't wait for someone else to do it. It's too important.